extra show and I'm still literally on like season one. I feel like I don't hear enough people talk about Inuyasha compared to like shows like Yu Yu Hakusho or other old shows. But with all of that being said, also, you know, I definitely think it's a little bit harder to get through than some other shows. Like it wasn't a show that I could immediately binge. I think it's an effort to try to watch it at first, but maybe it gets better. But as far as I've seen, it's okay. So I will say underrated. Kaijo is definitely underrated. <laughs> I love Kaijo. Oh my gosh, Kaijo is such a cute show. I think people might write it off because of the fan service, but you shouldn't do that because Kaijo, I feel like the characters are developed. I feel like yeah, they're, the fan service is a lot sometimes, but it's such a huge show, and I really feel like they did a good job. The animation, I think, looks good. I think there definitely should be another season. I would put that on a level of, like, Monster Mizume. Like, I love Kaijo. Underrated for sure. Okay. I think Zombieland Saga is underrated. Sorry if it sounds like I'm saying a lot of one. Are underrated but we started that show not too long ago I got a recommendation from my friend and it's a cute show I mean I don't know there's not much you can really say about it the premise is kind of fairly simple well you know what maybe it's over nah nah <laughs> nah it's underrated it's underrated I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> okay are you talking mm. Dragon Ball Z is overrated, very much so, <laughs> and all the Dragon Ball people out there do not come for me, but hear me out, Dragon Ball is overrated just because of the simple fact that I feel like people count Dragon Ball as a basis, like, level, kind of, what's the word? It's like an initiation into anime, like people feel like if you don't watch Dragon Ball you can't truly be an anime fan. And I feel like that's really dumb. I think Dragon Ball might be a decent show for people who watch it or whatever. But at the end of the day, I don't think that it's the top show of all time and it's the best show ever. And that every person needs to watch it or their opinion is invalid. I think Dragon Ball is just drawn out very long. And I don't know, I would say it's overrated. It's very mainstream. <laughs> You can't even say Dragon Ball is underrated, though. Any person who watched Dragon Ball can't even fucking say Dragon Ball is underrated. Dragon Ball is underrated. You just sound dumb. <laughs> oh my god! Love Stage is so underrated. Oh my gosh. Love Stage, like, trust me, I do not watch a lot of, like, yaoi things. <laughs> But Love Stage, I think, is the cutest yaoi show you ever watch in your entire life. I definitely think it's very cute. Like, the premise is simple, but it doesn't even have to be complicated. Like, the characters are good, the story is adorable, and I think there definitely should have been another season, but I heard there never will be, so underrated for sure. <laughs> say under or over because I personally have been watching a lot of Hunter x Hunter and I think it's talked about a lot like I don't think it's one of those shows I never hear people talk about but I think it's talked about for a good reason like I feel like it's a real good show like it's something I could binge watch and watch and I can see myself even re-watching it again so I wouldn't say that it's overrated because people talk about it because it's for good reason so I'm going to say neither. <laughs> I know that's not an option, but I'm going to say neither. <laughs> Attack on Titan is overrated. <laughs> Try, listen, I have tried to watch Attack on Titan literally like seven times. Like I've watched, I feel, I feel like I've watched the entire first season, maybe even half or the entire second season, and I still can't get into it like I don't know what's going on it seems like they don't care about the characters and the crazy shit just happens people just die like I don't know I feel like Attack on Titan is one of those shows that people put at a godlike level and I feel like it don't deserve that pedestal like I honestly feel like Attack on Titan is overrated <laughs> I 
feel about lollies? Over or under? I feel like lollies might be overrated. Only because I feel like the the fan base so attached to lollies. Like I feel like it's kind of a cop out when every show feel like they every show feels like they need to include a lolly in there just to appeal to this community of people who like young girls. And it's just like I don't know. Like I don't know. I feel like the, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like overrated. There's not much I can even say about that. I just feel like lollies are overrated. <laughs> People are going to kill me for that. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this episode of Over and Under. I'm Baby Groot Loop. You can peek my channel if you want. I don't know which way it is. This way? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and follow Useless Dave. And uh, what was I supposed to say? Bye. Bye. <laughs>